live a life that is worthy of emulation. Live a life that can attract somebody. Do you desire to be fruitful? The qualification for fruitfulness is that you must abide in him. It's his abide. Satan. When men shall say that is a casting down, you will announce that there is a lifting up. Anything that came to end your life in a hurry, anything that came to end your joy suddenly, anything that came to cut you off out of life suddenly, today, I raise my voice as a prophet of high function. I say, God will cut that thing off today. God will cut that thing off today. That's a difficult matter in your family. God will bring solution to it today. God will bring solution to it today. God will bring solution to it today. That's a difficult condition in your destiny. God will bring solution to it today. As we got it up, God we got them up. Help me touch your neighbor. Say they cannot break me. Ladies and gentlemen, everything the devil is doing is to break you out of the source of help. There is only one man the devil cannot deal with. That is the man he cannot break out of the source of hell. If he can break you, he can do anything to you. There is only one man he cannot deal with. That is the man he cannot break. Listen to me. Everything starts and ends with you. If you say no to him, he can do nothing. If you say no to them, they can do nothing. The devil is not as powerful as we think he is. No uncle of yours have a right over your life until they cut you forth. If they cannot cut you off, they can do nothing. No wicked man, no wicked woman can do anything to you. The first thing they will try to do is to cut you off. The devil cannot take your seat until he cuts you off. He can't collect what belongs to you until he cuts you off. If he cannot cut you off, he can do nothing about you. I will read from a very popular scripture. Today is not a preaching day. I will not be talking much today. I will pray. I will pray. How many of you are ready to follow? Many destinies are free already. And many will be free in the course of this meeting. Many destinies are speaking already. Many of us are out of the bondage of the wicked ones. And many will still be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Romans chapter number 8. Romans chapter number 8. Is a popular scripture. You know it even better than I do. But let's see what God has for us there. Romans chapter 8 and verse number 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. God bless you. Now listen. There is therefore now. When? Now. Listen to this. When the Bible said there is therefore now, that means uh, before now there may be condemnation. Before now, condemnation may have been in existence. You may have condemned the journey of my yesterday, but now you may have condemned 
condemned my progress of years to years but now you may have stopped my journey before but now there is therefore now no condemnation there is therefore now no condemnation. Mm, no, no condemnation. Oh, but when now uh, there is, uh, the Bible did not say there was no condemnation. The Bible said there is. Uh, that means the words may be anything. Uh, don't conclude my case because of the words. Uh, don't conclude my case as a result of what words uh, and what we are. Uh, oh, my brother. Uh, but now uh, the difference is clear. Uh, and what came about the difference? Uh, the difference is not that yesterday God was not there. God was there yesterday, but I hadn't made up my mind. Hear me now, hear me now. If I had time to preach from here, I have a lot to bring to you. The Bible said there is therefore now, mark that word, now no condemnation to them. To them. Not to him, but to them. That is to say, there is therefore no condemnation for me, and there is therefore no condemnation for you. Eh? Yes, sir. Because we are them. Come on now. Yes, sir. Now, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Which are in Christ Jesus. Eh? Yes, sir. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. What qualifies me to enjoy no condemnation is not because I am righteous. It is because of where I walk. What qualifies me to enjoy the benefit of no condemnation is not because of who I am. It is because of where I walk. And what does it mean? When the Bible says who walk, it is not occupation. It is not the place of occupation. Neither is it the place of my walking by leg. It is the place of my belief and believism. It is where I yield. It is where I consent to. It is where I'm dedicated and committed to. I am not committed to the things of the flesh. I am committed to the things of the spirit. And because I'm committed to the things of the spirit, there is therefore now. There is therefore now no condemnation. If they didn't say that there is no condemnation by perception, there is no condemnation as a matter of right. It is my right not to suffer condemnation. Help me tell the devil he cannot condemn me. Help me tell the devil, say you cannot condemn me. Help me tell the wicked, say you cannot condemn me. You are talking like you are begging them. Tell them they cannot. Mm, come on, I need some help here. Somebody get me a seat. I need to sit down. I want to sit down. Get me a seat. Get me a seat anyhow. God bless you. God bless you. Get me a seat. Now, listen to this. Hey, I'll talk to you for a few minutes. Just hold on, I'm coming. Lambrada yagas and do do Ekunda la gabraga yanana Ekumande lege brava yanodo Ketete yalara Zatata katunde le bobosh It's a 
matter of right, I am not begging for it. There is therefore now no condemnation. Help me tell they that hate you, no condemnation. Help me tell they that fighting against you, no condemnation. Whether they like it or not, they can do nothing about it. Now, 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 hear this. Now, hear this. Yesterday, there may be condemnation. Yesterday, I was here. Yesterday, I was struggling. Yesterday, I was laboring. Yesterday, I thought I could do it on my own. Yesterday, I thought my labor would see me too. Yesterday, I thought I could do it by my own strength. Last year, I struggled all through. I thought I would make it by struggle. I thought I would make it by labor. Many years ago, I thought my strength could carry me through. I thought my labor could carry me through. But the more I labor, the more condemnation I face. The more I struggle, the more condemnation that I see. But yesterday, I was here. Oh, but yesterday, I was laboring. But yesterday years I was laboring. I was struggling and laboring. But there was condemnation everywhere. And how does the condemnation come? My Bible said that he is the accuser of brethren. I tried to be righteous. But he come before God. And he tells God that that man is not a righteous man. He's pretending to be righteous. But he He's a sinner, and I felt guilty, and I felt down, and my soul was numbered, and my spirit was low. The more he accused me, the more I lose the grip. I said, Okay, I will try again. I thought I could do it on my own, but the more I try, I relate with my sister. I try to get on well with her, and she turns to me and she said you are not good and she accused me and she tell me who I am but I didn't know that no man is qualified to describe me to me nobody is qualified to tell me who I am it's an accusation and the more they tell me who I am the more I lose grip the more I lose hold and I begin to fail I didn't know what was making me fail because I allow people to tell me who I am. I allow people to describe me. I allow people to determine me. And now hear this. And now hear this. Listen to the way it operates my sister. Listen to how it works. Somebody will come and they will tell you things about yourself. What they are telling you is not what makes you. But what they are telling you registers in your heart. And you begin to ponder over it. And you begin to think over it. And my Bible said as a man thinketh in his heart they accuse me they condemn me they tell me who I am from the face of yesterday in the midst of my struggle I wish I'm talking to somebody I wish I'm getting somebody to hear me now in the midst of my struggle I was out here I was laboring and God was seeing me but there was a voice calling me from afar he said come unto me all ye that are heavy laden all you that labor in vain all you that are suffering he said come unto me give me your yoke he said come unto me give me your worry he said come unto me give me your trouble I will take away the trouble from you and I will give you my yoke for my yoke is simple my yoke is easy and I was struggling and I was running around I shifted from there I say maybe location is my problem. I come to another location. But the truth of the matter is that I wanted to succeed. The truth of the matter is that I want to do well. But the more I try to do well, I discover that I'm not doing well. Why am I not doing well? 
because I am not walking in the spirit, I was walking in the flesh. Listen to what it means to walk in the flesh. To walk in the flesh is that I was listening to the voice of the flesh. I was listening to the voice of the flesh. I was interested in knowing what Pastor Chris will say about me. I was taking my time to make sure that mama do not get angry with me. But one thing is sure, any time you live your life in pleasing a man, you are walking in the flesh. You are walking in the flesh. Anytime you are interested in hearing things about you, you are walking in the flesh. Anytime you begin to listen to the dictates of your feeling, you are walking in the flesh. Many are in the grave today because they are walking in the flesh. I met a man of God some three months ago. We met and it's been a long time we had not seen i shook his hands i said man of god longest time he said thank god i am seeing you before i die i said what is wrong with you he said the doctor said i said shut up because i know for him to say i am dying he is saying that because somebody said something to him how many of you know that there are many who carry hiv and AIDS for many years without anything happening to them but any day they are told any day it gets to their knowledge that they are carriers of hiv and aids they begin to shrink Am I saying the truth here? They begin to die. That is when the effect begins to come on them. But shall I say this to you? Who is a man that walks in the spirit? A man that walks in the spirit is a man who does not listen to the voice of the flesh. But I listen to the voice of the spirit. Oh, the flesh says something is wrong with you. But the spirit says a lie. The spirit says it's a lie. Listen to me. How do you listen to the voice of the flesh? You listen to the voice of the flesh. When you sit down here, you calculate how much do I have in my bank account? I only have 20,000. Ah, I am poor. And it comes on you. How much do I have in my pocket? So you are patterning your life according to what you have in your pocket. You are patterning and programming your life according to what you have in your bank account. But there is another man. He is not moved by what the flesh tells him. He is moved by the God who said I can do all things. I can do all things to Christ that strengthens me. I may not have it in my pocket, but I have it in my spirit. Yes, sir. Now listen, many of us, our problem is not the devil because we are the ones allowing him. The devil has no power to control you except you submit to him. How do you submit to him? Anytime you say yes to the flesh, you're simply saying yes to the devil because the devil can approach the flesh but cannot approach the spirit. The devil can control the flesh but he cannot control the spirit. The devil can control your feelings, your emotions, but he cannot control the place of the spirit. But shall I say this to you? It is your mind that determines who you are. Every fight the devil is giving you is to make you change your mind. Every word that God is speaking to you, including this one I'm telling you now, is to make you change your mind. Because you can only be strengthened by the renewing of your mind. When your mind is renewed, the devil will fly away. When your mind is renewed, you can get anywhere. Because when psychology meets with theology, there is dichotomy. If I can change your mind, if I can get you believe that all things are possible through Christ that strengthens me, 
if I can get you to believe that you are not about to die but about to live you may be close to the grave but you will turn back you may be close to going down but you will rise again you may be close to die but you will rise and you will say no it's a thing of the mind if I can get you to change your mind I thought it was by struggle I thought it was somebody that will help you get there and you keep pleading with that particular person and the person is saying I will not let you I will not allow you my brother until you allow the devil he has no control over you it is you that will allow him there is therefore now before there was but now there can be why can they be because I have changed where I used to be when I was struggling on my own I couldn't make it when I was laboring on my own I couldn't make it but one day one day one day I said to myself I am tired of struggling I said to myself I am tired of doing it on my own I've used all the strategies that I know from the day I made up my mind to give my life to him from the day I made up my mind to take my seed and I said to him my life is in your hands do with me whatever pleases you and I took my seat I said I'm no longer going to be the driver of my destiny oh Lord be the driver of my destiny from now oh Lord I'm no longer going to be in control of my life you be in control of my life if you want to take me here I go if you want to take me here I go you are the driver of my destiny you are the controller of my life from now wherever you turn me I will go whatever pleases you do with me from the day I made up my mind that it is no longer going to be by my struggle that it's going to be by the dictate and the directions of God and I took my place and I took my seed and I entered the place of rest and from that day listen to the difference now listen to the difference now when a headache come I will not call it by name I will not invite people to tell me what it is I will not call somebody and say they say where I'm feeling the headache is coming from here and the person will ask you is it one side of the head and you say yes ah okay then bowie they have come you are finished you feel a scratch around your stomach you call somebody say come and see I don't know what is happening to me here it is scratching me before it was here but now it is moving ah do you say moving he say moving about bells by the time the thing goes around and join you are gone so every day of your life you are looking at now here and a shift is moving daddy is moving is coming close is about to join now and somebody tells you immediately join you die and because of that knowledge even when the thing is not moving you are helping it to move walking in the flesh but what does it mean to walk in the spirit somebody walks up to you and look at you and say ah this thing, this thing I'm seeing in your stomach, it looks like Abba Belt. You say, me? Abba Belt? What nonsense. Help me ask your neighbor, say, what nonsense? It has no right over me. And the person tells you immediately, joins you, die. Listen to me. And you say, not me. It cannot happen. Nobody can even do it to me. Ladies and gentlemen, our belt have ears. When you say not me, he had you. When you say it cannot happen, he had you. And listen to me, every man is a spirit. When your spirit disagrees with our belt, it will have no choice but to end. That day, to show you who the devil is, the pain may be much that day. Ignore it. The more the pains are there, the more you say, Mataka Pasute. 
what nonsense it cannot happen after that day the next day the pain may still be there but after the next day and you are still holding on to what you're holding on to before you know it by the time you look at your stomach instead of going forward the thing will be dying why because two cannot work together except they agree somebody told you you are going to be poor tell the person not me my seed is speaking on a hot altar I cannot be a poor man somebody tells you I will not help you somebody tells you I will take your husband and every day you are busy monitoring your husband you are walking in the flesh somebody said I will collect your husband from you so every day you send people my husband very good did they pass here you are a foolish woman you are walking in the flesh for how long will you monitor him you can't monitor him. What are you going to do? Somebody tells you, I will collect your husband. He said, collect my husband. My husband is not collectible. You can collect any other person's own, but not my own. What are you going to do? You go down on your knees and settle the matter. You are walking in the spirit. You are not walking in the flesh. Somebody tells you I will kill your child. Every day you gather your children. Don't go out. Once it is 4 o'clock as you come back from school, my children I beg you. They want to kill you. Anybody that want to kill your child doesn't need to enter the house to kill your child. There are many ways they can do it. But somebody say, I will kill your child. You say, kill my child. You don't know who you are talking to. As many that want to kill my children. And you stand on your feet. My children, you can go anywhere. You can enter anywhere. There is an oil of kapute operating around you. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I think I said today is not a preaching day. But I don't know what is happening to me. I think I need some help in this place. And I take my seed. For by strength shall no man prevail. You may dislike me. You may fight me. But you can't do anything to me. For greater is he that is in me. Than he that is in the world. And I take my place. I'm not moved by what they say. I'm not moved by what I hear. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm only moved by the word of God. The word of God may not be the same thing that I see part time. But hear me. What I see is temporal. But the word of God is internal. Hear me. I'm not moved by what I see. I may see trouble hanging around me and God said there is peace on every side my eyes may be deceiving me but what God is telling me is different from what I am seeing but it is not what I'm seeing that matters it is what God is saying that matters I may be seeing trouble all around Apostle Jim Afri has this to say. He waited for a child for 11 years. After 11 years of waiting for a child, God blessed him with a son. The son was 17 years of age. And the son one day was coughing. And the cough was becoming serious. And the, the apostle said to his wife, he said, take this boy to the hospital and let's see what is wrong. And they were preparing the boy to get him to the hospital. As the mother was so busy trying to give the boy his shirt so he can put on a 17-year-old boy, he collected the shirt from the mother and slumped. And the boy fell on the floor. And the mother looked at him. And the mother happened to be a nurse by profession. The mother looked at him and turned and ran to the father and said, The boy is no more breathing. The father said, No, he's not breathing now, but he will breathe later. He's not breathing now, 
but he will bleed later. The mother said, no. Hey! The husband said, keep quiet. The woman want to shout and want to cry. The husband said, keep quiet. Why, uh, why did you say I should keep quiet? I've lost my son. The, woman, the man said, you may have lost your son, but I have not lost my son. You lost your son when you said I lost my son. He said, I have not lost my son. And his wife paused and was looking at him. He said, God cannot be a wicked God. He will not allow me to wait for 11 years and then give me a son. And now he's 17 years. 28 years of my life cannot be a waste. Because for these 28 years, I have been an instrument of honor. I know what I have been to God. I've been an instrument of honor. He cannot be a wicked God. While he was busy talking to the wife, the son sneezed and got up. Now listen. Listen, what happened? The book of Isaiah just came to fulfillment. He said, come, let us reason together. Present your argument. Don't shout and cry. Come, let us reason together. If you have a stronger argument, I will answer you. He said, I didn't pray for my son. I only said he will bleed later. Because that is not the promise. Help me hit your neighbors. I will cut them off. I don't know what you are afraid of. I don't know what is moving you. I don't know what is shaking you. My friend, be careful. You don't have to walk in the flesh. You're looking at how much is in your pocket. And that is why you are stopping your future. Until I lay down my Isaac, I may not get the promise. If he wants me to lay down my Isaac at any time, I'm ready. If I lay down my Isaac today, even though Ishmael is not available, he is the God that knows how to return him back to me. You are the one holding yourself. In 2019, people of God, hear me, we will make so much money. How many of you know that no flight will take off without shaking? When they say shaking, you are going somewhere. Anytime it looks like things are difficult, it is because change is about to show up. It is because things are about to turn around. Am I talking to somebody now? Hear me now. Hear me now. I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind that I won't let the devil keep me back. How many persons in this place have made up their mind so? How dare you think yourself small? How can I serve a big God and then be small? It is an error. Eh? Eh? You don't allow anything around you to tell you how your life will be. Am I talking to somebody now?
Today is your very first time in this place. Did anybody invite you? How did you come? Somebody directed you. I see a very long key. That key is a padlock key. Is long. Locked. But the key to open it is not near the key. It's far from where the padlock is. And in the realm of the spirit I was told that this is the key, the padlock that was used to lock up the womb of this woman to cut her off from conceiving. Are you looking for a child? Yes, sir. I heard that this is the padlock. It's a long padlock. Locked. But the opening key is far from the padlock. And I was told that this padlock was used to padlock the womb of this woman. Where do you live, woman? I'm living at Agalabo Sisoma. Agalabo Sisoma? Yes, sir. This is Osisoma. Agalaba is near here. Yes, sir. You live very close and today is your first time here. Yes, sir. Number what, Agalaba? Number five, Dandy Avenue. Number five? Dandy Avenue. Dandy? Yes, sir. Dandy Avenue. Is yes, in Agalaba? Yes, sir. Number five, Dandy Avenue. I see this padlock and I hear God say to me that the womb of this woman has been locked for years. Can I open it now? Yes, sir. Madam, I'm the man carrying the prophetic mandate of the God of Talk Nadu. I bear the mark of God on me and I carry the seal of the God who is able to do all things. With him, there are no impossibilities. Yes, sir. Yesterday is gone. Yesterday is gone. But that padlock does not have the final say. Yes. The God that I serve have the final say. Yes. The God that I serve have the final say. Yes. Therefore now, the padlock that has been in existence over six years ago. I don't know why I'm hearing six years. Yes, sir. You've waited for this child bearing for six years? Yes, sir. Place your right hand on your womb. God of talk na do. God of talk na do. Amen. God of talk na do. Amen. Oh, you're going to sit down. My sister, come. In the recent time, conceiving is no longer the problem, but you conceive and lose. You conceive and lose. We've broken the yoke that said you will not conceive at all. But now the issue is that you will conceive and you will lose it. And I'm talking to one another and you jumped out. And I came today for a breaking. I came today for a breaking. I came today for a breaking. I came to break whatever refused you from existing and enjoying your life. That is what I came to break in this meeting. Can I operate like a prophet that I am in this place? Ah, woman, who is taking your marriage? Call her, call her. Who is taking your marriage? I see another woman dragging you out of your seat to take your seat. And I asked in the realm of the spirit, what is going on? And God said to me, another woman want to unseat her. Will you keep quiet and allow another woman to unseat you? Dragging you out to take your seat. That's a seat that you have. And that seat in the realm of the spirit, I was told that it is the seat of marriage. Another woman is busy dragging you, dragging you, dragging you. Wanting to push you away so she can take your seat. And as I talk now, she has been the one holding your husband for some time. 
without a problem, without a quarrel, but the woman wants to unseat you. But things are done in the spirit before you see them in the physical. But there is a man of God standing before you today. The carrier of the prophetic mandate of the God of Tokunado. Upon this generation, I am sent on a special mission. And I enter this meeting today carrying double letter. I come in the volume of the book that is written of me. I come with fire and thunder in my mouth. I come with grace. I come with anointing. It shall never be the same again. Somebody raise voice and shout the loudest amen in this place. Raise voice and shout the loudest amen in this place. Do you want your seat? No. Eh? Yes, sir. You want to retain your place? Yes, sir. You don't want to lose your marriage? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, say God of talk now, do. God of talking and do. Say it again. God of talking and do. And say it for the last time. God of talking and do. Oh, yeah, go. Now! Are you sure yes, that you know that the God who can cancel the force is able to cancel even this one? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You are very sure. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, call him. Say God of talk now do. God of talk now do. Again. God of talk now do. And again. God of talk now do. Oh, yeah, go. Is your elder brother a tipper driver? Your senior brother, does he drive tipper? Yes, sir. For the past one month, the man he is driving the tipper for we tell him to always bring the tipper to his house and come and carry it in the morning. When he close work in the evening, he will go and pack it in the man's house. But before, he used to bring the tipper home. Yes, sir. And now something happened. Everybody raise your, raise your broomstick up. Anybody that want to cut you off will go down to them. Can I hear a better amen in this place? in my calling. Can I hear a better amen right now? The man told your brother now. This morning when he came to carry the vehicle, the man told him to go and deliver five trips of sound where he is building his house down over here. It's true, sir. It's true, sir. And your brother had delivered one already and going to deliver the rest and the man has set something in place he will give people tipper he will push them to have accidents with the tipper they will die there he will repair the tipper and give another you will drive for him for some time and you will die in an accident and he will leave but now as you are raising your broomstick up, I will do something in this place. I will do something. Turn your broomstick to me. Turn it to me. I will cut a part of the broomstick now. As we speak now, after they load your brother for the second time, he will be on his way. His master is on his way going to Enugu. He will die the death he planned for your brother. Amen. My Bible says, Whatsoever a man sow, he shall reap it. Amen. Anybody that wants you dead will die. Amen. Young man, you are shaking your head. As you are shaking your head, I hear God say to me that I should journey from here to Umuoji in Anambra State. As I'm journeying to meet the Oga of your brother on his way, he's about getting through a place where they do. I, I, I see people uh, along the road between Okigwe and Omaha here, where the road is spoiled. That's where he is right now. He's driving on a Honda vehicle. 
Honda. He's driving. He's moving now. He will park in Enugu and die. He will not hit anybody. Nobody will hit him. The death he planned for your brother, he will die the death. I caught him. Say God of talking I do. God of talking I do. Say God of talking I do. God of talking I do. And say God of talking I do. God of talking I do. That's it. Sir, I will enter Umoji in Anambra State now. Amen. I will cut off that which came to cut you off. Amen. You've entered the covering of the God of talking I do. Amen. This covering will preserve and keep you. Amen. That shame will not happen. Amen. The wicked man who wants to stop you, point your broomstick towards me. Today is a cotton. God will cut anything that came to cut you. Amen. If you don't want God to cut them, please be careful as you are pointing your broom. Anything can happen. Amen. Amen. Hold on, hold on. I'm cutting that one in Umoji who is saying what should work for you will not work. I want to cut him. But as I'm about to, after cutting, I want to remove. I hear God say to me that I should strengthen you to travel. Amen. Are you traveling abroad? Yes, sir. When? Next week. Next week. Next week. I hear him say I should strengthen you to travel. Amen. I hear him say that I should empower your hands to make it. Amen. I will empower your hand. Amen. But this one is gone. Amen. Shall God of talk now do? God of talk now do. Shall God of talk now do? God of talk now do. Shall God of talk now do? God of talk now do. You can say that. Amen. Can you touch me hundred naira? I will not return it back to you. I will take it. I will eat it. Am I permitted to eat it? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, give me. Your brother, who is more or less like the hope of your family. Yes, sir. He has gone to American Embassy five times. Yes, sir. And they denied him visa five times. Yes, sir. He's on his way right now by road going to Abuja to get to the embassy tomorrow. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And you have given me 100 naira. Call your brother on the phone. Tell him that Tokonadu said. I say we get to American embassy tomorrow morning. His appointment is 9.30 appointment. Yes, sir. I say we get to the embassy tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. There will be no question. Amen. They will not look at his documents. They will give him American visa. Amen. Say God of talk now do. God of talk now do. Say God of talk now do. God of talk now do. And one more time. God of talk now do. Go. I say, young man, I prayed for the brother here right now. The young man that dashed me 100 naira. The major problem of his family was this and is this. The major problem of the family was what they call statement of accounts. They didn't have enough money in their account that can convince the embassy. They were begging people, pay money into my account, I will give it back to you. And the people were refusing. 
because they are not sure if they pay in whether they, they don't trust that they will get back the money so the, 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 the account that the young man printed the money in that account is not more than 612,000 now to them this is a major problem because the embassy will say if you go you will not return now there is no, money is not enough there and they are believing they are going to reject him again for the sixth time and now listen there is a God in this place who have said I will close their eyes from looking at the documents this is a God that know how to take care of protocols he will take care of it in your own life. He will take care of it in your own life. He will take care of it in your own life. He will take care of it in your own life. Before you left the house, the same way your mother was lying on the bed, lying like that on the floor. With the help of life support as you're lying the same way before me in the next two minutes your mother will sit up the same thing will never repeat again Please permit me to do this one like this. Settle. 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 St stand up, young man. Lift your broomstick up. That thing is all over me. I want to do something now. I will tell you what I'm going to do. There are some of you, the devil have convinced you that you are a poor man. It's a lie. He lied to you. There are some of you the devil have convinced your mind that your condition cannot change. It's a lie. He lied to you. There are some of you he convinced you already that nobody in your family can succeed anymore. Let me say this to you. You don't need a business to be a success. Hey, so I told you. So I told you. You don't need a business to be a success. Young man, come. You don't need money to win. What you need to win is grace. Did you hear me, sir? You are from where? From Abombi Seymo State. From you don't need the money to win. What you need is what? Grace. What you need is grace. You don't need the money. It is not money that makes people win. Even in the journey of life. Why am I talking of winning? Are you contesting election? That's right. Sir. You are contesting for House of Assembly. That's right. In Abombi, say. Call me. By 3 o'clock on Saturday. If I open my mouth on, on Saturday and tell you you are going to win. Even if you fold your hands and stay in the house. You will be announced a winner. Go and say that. Because of your brother-in-law. Your sister's husband. He has been helping your family. But right now, your sister called you people and said he's at the point of death. And that is the reason you have been coming. Because if that man should die, in your feeling, you will drop out of school. Many things will scatter. Eh? Is that why you are here? It is his business partner that wants him dead. because of the money they paid them that they are supposed to share. But now, I say no. Somebody say no. 
Say no. They submitted the account number already, and both of them are signatories to the account. Since this one wants him to die, and the thing has gone bad, only one chance do I have. So let the one who wants him dead die. That in life there are different kinds of movements. There's a crawling. Eh? There's a walking. There's a running. Eh? Eh? Now, there, are, there is another movement called riding. Eh? Eh? But there is another movement called flying. Eh? But there is another one that is not common. That one is to emerge. There is a movement that will take place in your life and family this year. It will quench and stop the mouth of those who were laughing. Your mockers will shut up. Your haters will shut up.